Sanvyuma Kankandani uh, from Banakas Institute. Today's my topic is Indian, Indian Vedas and Indian culture. We, we all know that we live in uh, we all know that we live in a country which has diverse amount of people and cultures uh, residing in it. We live in a country with uh, we live in a country which has uh, multiple religions, ethics, and uh, spiritual beliefs. Among all of these things, the one thing which is common in us is our culture, our Hindustani culture. But the question is, are we enough aware about it? I I bet you many of us didn't know the four names of our Vedas, and many many people around do not know, didn't even heard about it. So today I would like to tell or uh, uh, tell some uh, some things about our Veda. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, there are four Veda. As I mentioned, Sanatan Dharma talking up uh, taking about four Vedas, uh, including Rig, the Rig Veda, the Yajurva Veda. Uh, the Sama Veda and the Atharva Veda. <coughs> before we move further, I uh, before we move move further, we will uh, we will know what is what are Vedas. Vedas, uh, Veda or Ved are is a big body uh, body of text uh, originating uh, originating to uh, ancient India, ancient India. <coughs> uh, uh, the the uh, oldest clearing of Sanskrit uh, of uh, Sanskrit literature and uh, the oldest clearing of uh, scriptures and our culture our culture the but the question arises is are these Vedas useful to today's requirements today's world requirements are these Vedas are useful for the science, modern science which we learn today the answer is yes. Uh, answer is yes. If if you actually learn Vedas, you will uh, know the related things to medicines, uh, mathematics, economics, and many more. The main the main objective to write Vedas was uh, was to create a socially, economically, uh, socially, economically, and economically and uh, spiritually healthy society. A healthy society, not only for our country but uh, for the whole world. As we say, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. <coughs> what do we, uh, we think that modern science is the main main source, uh, main reason for growth of human civilization? But do you know our India is uh, giving the best in science field from ancient time, since ancient times, uh, ancient times uh, that we call. Traditional, uh, traditional knowledge, uh, traditional knowledge, uh, whom we call today, for to clear some things, uh, whom we call today's modern scientists. No doubt they are very talented. But uh, how many of you know that Bhaskaracharya too discovered gravity in 1150 AD, be 400 years before, uh, 400 years before, so Isaac Newton discovered it. Uh, we think that Wright brothers uh, discovered the plane. Uh, discovered the plane in in 19, uh, 1903 AD. But uh, Mr. Miss Bapu Shukar Bapuji Thalpadi discovered plane design in 1895 AD. 1895 AD. Uh, the list is quite long. But sadly, we don't appreciate them uh, enough. Uh, we we think that our culture, our Vedas, are old-fashioned or orthodox thinking, or orthodox thinking. Uh, we feel ashamed to express our culture outside. But that is so wrong. We have we have to feel proud of our culture that we we took birth in such a beautiful and graceful country or nation. Uh, but sadly, we are we are forgetting our old culture and accepting the modernization. We have to aware the this, this generation as well as the upcoming our generation about our culture, <coughs> our culture. Uh, to keep our soulful and graceful culture alive forever. Thank you, Jane Jane.
टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई फील प्राउड ऑफ माई सेल्फ इन आई एम लिसनिंग हियर टू यू बिकॉज यू डील विद सच ए टॉपिक विच इवन एज यू टोल्ड इन द बिगिनिंग इज अन नोन टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ओवर हियर इवन मैक्म ऑफ द यू नो आर इंडियन पीपल आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो आई फील इट्स अ ग्रेट विक्ट्री फॉर मी that we started this activity and you people are dealing with these activities so nicely that you are dealing with such a topics even i never thought that anybody will talk about very good very nice keep it up thank you